for the storm, but we are still seeing the sheen on the roadways. We are not out of the weeds just yet. More heavy rain is expected over the next 24 to even 48 hours. Temperatures right now in Birmingham sitting at around 70 degrees over an inch of rain in the last 24 hours, but those scattered showers will persist overnight tonight. Kind of on and off, though. It doesn't mean every location is going to see rain. It just means that we're going to see periods of wet weather here and there. And then tomorrow morning, some peaks of sunshine, but again, mostly cloudy to start our Wednesday. Flash flooding risk for tonight night will be primarily most of central and east Alabama. We're in that slight risk, so on a scale of one to five, we're at about a two for a slight risk potential for some of those flash flooding events. We've already seen several of them occur tonight. Here's what's happening. Total moisture in the atmosphere. If you took all of the moisture in the atmosphere and you wrung it out, that's how much rain is uh, above us, essentially, and where you see these pinks and oranges on the map. That is a lot of moisture rich air, much drier to our west. But it's because of the surge of southerly flow that's feeding the atmosphere, and that's where we're getting all these showers and now thunderstorms in Mississippi as well as West Alabama. Right now we still have a flash flood warning for central Alabama. Several reports of flooding and that impacted roadways too. But here's where the heaviest rain is currently from Hamilton, Gwen down through Fayette all the way down to reform along Highway 82. We have scattered showers from Haleyville, Double Springs, a little break on 278 as you go from Double Springs to Addison, but a couple of showers down towards Arley. Coleman and Good Hope seeing some heavy rainfall right now. And speaking of active warnings, we have an active night of weather north to south from the Huntsville area through Birmingham all the way down to Bruton, Alabama, where they are seeing significant flooding at this hour as well. All right, let's talk about overnight. Just a few little pulses of rain between now and about 7 a.m. I think we'll see a little bit of a break in the rain, but that returns by around noon tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon topping out back in the low to mid 80s. And we're going to see or really the low 80s, the mid 70s, and then we'll see those waves of rain late Wednesday afternoon through the evening. And much like tonight, some of the most active parts of the day tomorrow will be after the sun sets. That will continue into Thursday before we get a little bit of relief. By Friday, things begin drying out. Sun shines back for the weekend. It will be a beautiful Saturday and Sunday, and those string of dry days will continue through the start of next week. And that's a look.